occasions in the last year, I've addressed the Senate regarding freedom as a counterbalance to medical tyranny. And I recently addressed the Canberra Freedom Rally remotely. The side that is locking people up for the crime of being healthy, arresting protesters, ever spraying kids and beating up grannies, banning books and electronic messages, censoring social media, sending threatening letters, forcing small businesses to close, urging people to do to dob into centres and banning safe drugs that have worked for 60 years are all on the wrong side of history. In a frightening development, New South Wales has called in the troops to keep innocent, healthy citizens locked in their homes in what can only be called martial law. Recent freedom marches showed what happens to citizens who exercise their democratic right to protest. People are demonised, hunted down. The media vilifies to discourage others from questioning the control state. If the government can decide who is free and who is not, then that is not freedom, and no one is free. A crisis will always be found to justify measures designed to protect the government, not the public. A crisis that is as easy to create as turning up the PCR test from 24 cycles up to 42, where a false positive is the most likely outcome, as has occurred. Actions such as these have created a crisis of confidence in government. And that, fellow citizens, is on the Senate. We are the House of Review. We're tasked with the duty to ensure honesty, transparency and accountability in the government of the day. We have failed in that solemn duty, our duty to our constituents. We have failed those yet to vote, our children, who are now being injected with a substance that has not undergone meaningful safety testing. The Liberal, National and Labor parties have colluded to wave these measures through this place, reducing the Senate to the status of a dystopian echo chamber. Each new restriction, although met with rightful public opposition, has not led to a re-evaluation, but rather has led the government to crack down even further. The Morrison government is behaving like a gambling addict who loses a hand and instead of admitting error and walking away, it doubles down. With troops now on the streets, it's frightening to contemplate where this will end.